for the double tray flip, I'm not gonna lie, it probably took me like 30 to an hour, an hour at most. I was doing a tray flip. I actually was doing a few tricks on the hip. I did a nollie lay flip, and then I did a pop shove it late burial, or 360 pop lay flip, whatever you wanna call it. But afterwards, I, was, I told myself, I haven't landed double tray flip. Let's see if I can land it really quickly. And really quickly ended up turning into a 30 minute to 40 minute battle. But it's okay, because I learned a lot about that trick. So, I learned that as I was scooping, I had to scoop hard. As I scooped, that I had to flick forward. Like, so, you know how you flick outward? So, flicking outward I had to flick really hard forward because because of the scoop it was already heading that direction so I had to flick forward to make it flick really hard and I was not landing all of them I was stomping all of them because I already know how to do a tray flip and stay still but it kept landing uh, on the graphic side but when I flipped it on and landed it perfect I was leaning too back and for some reason, I kept leaning back on most of the times I was landing it. So once I actually landed a few, I still was off balance. When I, my leg was off, and the other one, I just was hand touched. And then where I actually landed, I was really happy. Trust me, it feels good to land a new trick. Like my mind is like, whoa, but yeah. Um, but yeah, that was my own trick challenge because I haven't landed it and I wanted to land it and learn it. So yeah, that's it. That was my experience with double tray flip. Um, I'm gonna keep learning new tricks and I still have yet to do trick requests that I've seen and uh, I've screenshotted because I wanna battle those too. So more to come. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment with your thoughts. Sign out until the next one.